Welcome to Espresso Shots. My name is John. I am at home today with my handy tool belt on. I have my hammer, my sharpened pencil, my measuring tape, an exacto knife, um, screwdriver, Robinson bit in there because a Robinson bit always seems to be the go-to bit. So today, guys, I'm going to teach you uh, an easy project that'll make your wives very, 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 very happy. Um, so. Stick with me on this one, and uh, this is my Wacky Wednesday episode, so follow me and we're going to get this thing started. Okay, so before we kick off today's episode, we've got a little bit of uh, gingerbread um, sweet sauce. We're going to add that into this big, uh, this big manly espresso jar, this big mason jar. We're gonna drink our espresso out of a mason jar today because this is gonna be a, a manly episode. So uh, fire that baby up here or no? You can watch it kind of do its thing. I'll stay in the shot. That noise there means the machine is done, it's grinded, it's stopped, it's thrown the old waste into the basket, and means my espresso is done. So um, sit back and enjoy this episode. That's quite different. It tastes like a gingerbread latte or gingerbread espresso. Okay. And remember, men. When we stick together, there's nothing we can do with a hammer and a little bit of duct tape. And yeah, maybe I've stolen that from Red Green, but who gives a shit? Come on. Okay, so we're in, uh, as you can see, uh, the, uh, the heart of the home, uh, where it all goes down, <laughs> literally. Um, so today we're going to work a little bit over in that section, and I'll show you how to do a quick and easy project to do. Uh, again, that'll make your wives very happy. And uh, so follow me. Okay, so I've spun that camera around so you guys can view what I'm working on. So the project we're doing is right down here. Um, this is called toilet paper, and this unit here is called a toilet paper dispenser. So this roll is actually still about um, half full, or, or maybe I call that full it, for me. It's full until it's empty. Um, so what we do is basically when it's empty, when you see the cardboard, uh, you'll notice from, it'll go from white to uh, like a cardboardy color. Um, looks like like a like a, a regular coffee that brown color like that um, when that when you see that color um, there's two things that will happen one um, your wife will probably notice it before you notice it and two um, somebody will have to change that and this is where you come in handy this is where you're gonna be a rock star today so here's what we do for the, this uh, to change these things up it's not hard so basically you just kind of come over to the unit and in our case it's just about a you flip it up like that you lift the uh, old toilet paper out of there, and that's the, uh, in this case, it's actually white inside. So sometimes they are white inside. And you grab yourself a new roll. Uh, you may have to ask your wife where these are kept, but I'm sure they're kept somewhere in your home. Um, if not, they are available at uh, many stores, uh, including uh, locally here in town. And uh, you basically, it's relatively simple. You take, um, I'm not sure about the over and under thing. I'll leave that up to you guys. But in this case, I'm going to put mine on. So I've got the toilet paper again. Um, so again, you may want to make sure when you're putting this on, you hold, and you, oh, let me show you that again. When you're putting it on, you hold it. Cause if you don't hold it, what happens is it falls right off. So we want to make sure that we have it in position like this and then slowly just kind of put it down into the latch like that. And uh, a nice touch, a really nice touch is if you kind of just get the toilet paper started like that. That's, that's a really nice touch. And uh, there you go. In, in this case, I have it under um, like that. But really, you can do uh, over under, whatever you, whatever you really like. Um, you know, I, I, think we, I think that's how we normally do it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, do-it-yourself project. 